What's going on guys, it's Stubbs here, welcome back to another video, and this one is gonna be a good one, because I've actually spent a decent amount of time trying to do this thing. So, by the title, as you guys can see, I decided to build, or sort of replicate, the Falcon RSR, the 991 Porsche. So this is the car that we have on the screen right now in Need for Speed, it's the 911 GT3 RS. So, with this car, I decided to go ahead and pretty much try to replicate the um, uh, the Falcon RSR. So basically, I was looking around for for I, I basically bought the other 911, which is a, what, was it the Turbo? I can't remember if it's a Turbo or if it's just a Carrera in this game. But I ended up buying the other one, and I didn't have the kit. And then I bought this car. And if we go over here into body kit, as you can see, we have the GT3 kit. Yes, I'm so happy. Like this is, I'm so happy that this kit was in the game. And uh, basically, with this, I uh, I ended up buying it, and uh, pretty much, like, I, I just looked around at it for a while, and then I ended up, uh, obviously, creating the design. But before we get to the actual design, let's just go ahead and uh, and do some stuff to this thing. So first of all, if I go ahead and take, like, just get rid of this kit, like, let me see real quick. Um, what else can we actually do to this thing? Can we actually do anything to this car? So pretty much the same thing. As the kit itself, we do anything to the wing? Apparently, we can. So the standard wing, and then uh, a bunch of other crappy wings that we can change. Yeah, not a lot of stuff we can do to this thing, but this is pretty much not the point of this video. So let's add that kit on. Um, we're gonna have to mess with the stance a little bit, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and actually change the rims to something very similar, which are these. I actually ended up looking for the wheels in this game quite a lot, just to, just, just to try and see pretty much if I can actually get these to be as similar, obviously, to the car as possible that I'm replicating, and these are probably the closest ones that I can get to it. Like, there's there's nothing, like, closer than, than these, so I decided to go with these. Now, for the wheel size, I'm gonna go down one. Uh, somewhere in the middle would be perfect. Um, and, uh, they are fine. Actually, we need to paint these white, don't we? So, let's go ahead and do that. Um, now, if I can try and somehow figure out a way to paint these white, because there's not a lot of... I'll keep the brightness up. The metallic... Keep that to around the middle. And then the smoothness, if I bring this down... They look a little bit more white, so... I'm gonna play these for front wheels real quick before... Do anything else? Let's go over to the rear wheels. Let's change these as well to the wheels that we need to change. This is just slightly bigger in the rear, so these are fine the way they are as well. Now, for this, for the paint, let me go ahead back up to the front. Uh, go to the rims again, go to the paint, and now apply to all rims. There we go. Now, for the tires, of course, since we're building a Falcon replica, uh, we have to get the Falcon on the tires, so let's go ahead and find those. There we go, some Falcon regular tires. Uh, I'm not going to get stretch tires for that because that'll be just kind of stupid. Um, popping on the tires again, let's have a look here, see if we can find these again real quick. There we go, Falcon for those. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with the brake discs and all that stuff because it's kind of pointless. I'm not really going to look at that way too much. So, uh, we got some white wheels for this, we got the Falcon tires, we got the kit. Um, now let's go ahead and lower this, obviously, as low as it goes. Uh, the rake really isn't going to do anything, since this is as low as it goes. Um, track width on the front is actually fine. Track width on the rear, we can bring this out just a little bit. Uh, looks a little bit better there. And then a little bit of camera on the front, and maybe a little bit on the rear as well. Since this is pretty much... This is pretty much a race car, right? So, let's go ahead. I really wish you can lower it a little bit more on the rear. That's, that's probably one thing that I'd, I would like to do. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty much our car right now. Um, we can't really add anything else to it. At all. The only thing that I'm that's sort of bugging me here is I really wish that I could change the headlights and the fog lights to to yellow, because that's what they're like on the on that uh, on that car. So now let's go ahead, go into paint and wrap, and I'll show you guys the wrap that I have been working on. So if I go to uh, that's not it. If I go to this, this is the GT3 RS. Come on, change to it. It's gonna take a while. There we go. Uh, with some slight adjustments. <laughs> and by slight adjustments, I mean I added the Hoonigan, uh, the Hoonigan like uh, visor on the front, or like gigantic sticker on the windscreen instead of Porsche because obviously it doesn't have Porsche. But I decided to add Hoonigan just just for the lols anyway. So this is our this this is it. This is pretty much it. This is the design I've been working on. 
uh, for the past like night actually. It, it was basically the past day I've been working on this design, so it's kind of difficult to get everything done perfectly right, especially because Falcon isn't in the game as a design. So it's uh, like uh, I mean the lettering and stuff like that. So it's a little bit like weird to try and get everything done but i still managed my to, to to do as best as possible to to replicate this um this uh this falcon rsr so pretty much let's start with the front so the front basically obviously as you can see what's different it, it has the falcon logo it has the number 17 it has um the the hood scoop like that little area there that's painted black uh obviously we had we have the big like hoonigan Sticker on a windscreen. We have again 17 on the side. Now, of course, all the stickers aren't the exact same as you'd have them on the real life car because, uh, of course, the ones on real life they're they're like obviously different and uh, they're not exactly like they don't have the exact stickers in the game. Uh, but I tried to do, go to something as close as possible, you know, color wise, so it looks very very similar. So uh, on the side, as you can see, it has the the, the original Falcon design, uh, sort of basically fading. Well, it's not really fading in, but it just sort of. Uh, you know, the green going into the blue there. Um, then we have the number 17 on the side. We have uh, Falcon Tire at the bottom with the Falcon logo right there on the back arch. Uh, we have, again, Falcon on the rear. Um, we have some stickers again on the side there. I can't really do anything to the wing. I really wish you could do some stuff to the wing as well. Maybe add, you know, Falcon on the, on the rear wing as well because it actually does have it in real life. The roof, again, the same sort of design. Uh, going around to this side is pretty much the exact same thing, but mirrored. Red mirrors as well, uh, since we're talking about mirrors, and that's pretty much it. That is the design. Doesn't look like it's that difficult to create, uh, but trust me, it took a very, very long time to add all those lines in, to get all the small little details in on, on the car just to make it look as close to the to the real-life car as possible, and obviously the positioning of everything and stuff like that is, uh, is also key. So that is it. This is... The Falcon RSR replica build uh, of the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in Need for Speed 2015. Now, actually, we're not going to just look at this car really quick. We're going to actually drive this thing. So, in real life, this car actually has 480 horsepower. So, I'm going to go with something similar. It, there you go, 481 horsepower. It's perfectly fine. Handling, tuning. Since this is a GT3 car, it's supposed to be tuned for grip racing. So, let's bring this up to grip, because why the hell not? Um, and then everything else is just going to be pretty much the same as it was before. Now, steering response, I do prefer that to be a lot faster than slower. Um, single range is fine, brake assist is fine, everything else should be perfectly fine as well. I'm not going to change anything, but uh, that's it. That is all I'm going to be able to do to the car. Now, let's go ahead and take it out and actually drive it. See what it's like when it's out on the streets. Uh, even though this isn't supposed to be a street car, but still, let's take it out, see what it's like, and drive it around for a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, I think I'll enter it in like a time trial or something. I've I've been doing a time trial, um, and I wanted to uh, to see if this was actually be able to do it because um, the time trial is hard. It's uh, oh, I really do wish that I could have like the the the, the yellow fo the yellow fogs and the yellow like headlights. But honestly, this this thing looks very very good. This is actually the very very first time that I get to see this out out in uh, out on the streets. Oh, it sounds very good. Need for Speed sounds definitely do not disappoint. They never did. Brilliant car. All right. Well, there's a time trial right here. This isn't the one I was uh, I was going to do, but fuck it. Let's just do this anyway. All right. All right. Six minutes long. Let's do this thing. I'm gonna have to go with this perspective, which kind of sucks. I'll probably change later on to something else, but I kind of want to see what this thing drives like. Because I haven't driven this Porsche in this game yet. I just want to see if... Uh, if this thing is as good as it's supposed to be. I'm trying to actually get this thing to even drift. Even though it's not supposed to do that, but... I'm loving the steering response. That's... That's, I, that's so good that I did that. To this car because I know that that would have been one thing that I would have hated on this thing it's pretty fucking good 
It honestly is. I think with a little bit more horsepower, this would be like an actual, like, proper fast car in this game. The only thing that I usually complain about these cars that I tune for rip racing is, like, the steering response. And they just don't steer enough. And it's just... Uh, it's not really my thing. Usually when I tune cars for grip racing in this game, they're actually tuned for drifting. Um, because they're just, just as fast anyway. Um, but I love the steering. That's brilliant. Yeah, this car is... Uh, this car looks great. It drives really, really well. But like I said, maybe a little bit more horsepower would be perfect for this thing. Yeah, a little bit more horsepower would be perfect for this guy. Because right now, it's sort of lacking. But then again, Can Real Life only has around 480 horsepower, so... I wanted to do something similar. I don't even know what, t what type of tires this thing has on. It's not even like stripped out of the interior or anything. I, like, I, I literally just copied the horsepower, that's pretty much it. I didn't copy the weight or anything. I probably should have, but... Screw it. It doesn't matter. The whole point of this video was... To show off the design of the car that I decided to sort of try and replicate. I'm trying to. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot that this thing doesn't have the brake assist for for drifting. There we go. I wonder if I can actually get this thing in six minutes and thirty-one seconds. This dude behind me, he's definitely gonna catch up and overtake me. I don't know if he's doing the same race, but he's definitely faster than me. Is he gonna try and overtake me? I don't even know. I don't have NOS or anything. He's very, very slowly catching up. He's just following me. This dude's just chilling behind me. Oh, he's doing the same thing as me. Oh, it's the uh, thing. What you might call it? Um, Magnus Walker's Porsche. Wow, that thing is pretty quick. That thing is pretty fucking quick. It only has. I don't think it has that much horsepower either. Come on. Aw, oh, you can't. <laughs> Alright. Come on. We can do this. Victory is in sight, come on. I'm very surprised how well this thing drives, like, very close to stock. It's very, very good. Yeah, I'm really digging this design. So yeah, thank you guys for... Um, for suggesting loads of designs to me, because I'm definitely choosing some of these from you guys. I've been suggested like I've been getting some very very mad designs and and uh, I might try to replicate them but trust me this is really difficult to try and get done when you're doing your own design it's kind of easy but when you're sort of when you have to copy like someone else's design like some like a car from real life it's so difficult to do unless it's like very very plain and simple like like I've done the uh, uh, Ryan Turk Cyan FRS that was very, very simple. Paint it white, wheels are black. That's pretty much it, right? Um, and this is just... It's its a lot more difficult, trying to get everything done. Um, but, um, yeah, it's its possible, right? It's possible, it just takes a little while to do. And, uh... It's very, very time-consuming. That's pretty much the only deal. The only deal-breaker here. But yeah, I'm really digging this. This 911 here. Doing some serious work. 456. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if, we'll, if we're gonna be able to get this in 6 minutes and 31 seconds. Is this supposed to be a hard event? So. I don't know if. If the car's power and weight is good enough for this event. Maybe tuned, but I don't know if it's good enough stock. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I really want to do this now. I have to concentrate. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Let's go. 
have less than a minute left. Less than a minute to get, like, what, 12 checkpoints? I know the last few are very, very close together because... Because the roads that we're going to end up going to, but... I need to get there fast. Come on. Come on, please. Oh my god, 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Oh no, I'm not doing this. This isn't happening. Oh my god, it was a slide. It. Oh, my game froze. <laughs> oh wait, is it back? I don't even know. What is it doing? Need for speed. What the fuck is happening? What? Oh, I think it's gonna come back. Wait, wait, wait. It's done this before. I'm not gonna make it though. I need, like, five checkpoints in, what, like, five seconds? That is not gonna happen. Is it dead? I can't even tell. Is it gonna come back? I don't think so. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching, and, uh, if you guys are gonna like and comment and doing all that sort of stuff, then thank you for that as well. But, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.